Together. I was doing one thing and John was doing something else. I was walking fast, John was walking slow. I was leaving, John was staying. When we walked down the street, we saw different things. I saw people eating hot dogs, and John saw everyone was getting pretzels. I didn't see the pretzels, and he didn't see the hot dogs. Did you see him eating hot dogs this morning? People must have been standing there eating hot dogs. Oh my god, where are we? We went, oh, around the corner five times. Es wird gefordert, Entwaffnung zwecks der Reine USA zu schicken. Größere Gefahr von Chile. We're in the 35th floor of this large hotel. They left the television with a personal message for us. And then down here we have the mini bar. As long as there's beer in the room, John's happy. The TV tower is right across the cold, windy, blustery train station. It looks like a disc sticking out from this toothpick. They put you up this elevator. It's real easy. And of course, here he was in this milieu of frothy, sloshy, smelly, stinky beer. In this really nice little revolving record player. The cathedral's basement crypt houses the sarcophagi of German royalty, including the Prussian king, Friedrich I. If I die first, you can have one of these on my headstone. It was pretty creepy. From here, we decided to climb to the dome. John was taking these videos going up the steps. We made it. And like, he thought that was fun at first, and then he he thought he was at the top, and he was barely halfway. Oh my God. Um, I was up there, and I heard this <laughs> coming up the steps, and I knew that was him. Yeah. <laughs> Today is uh, Wednesday, so we went to the Pergamon. Temple of Athena. Those are the two columns from the Temple of Athena. They gave us a little headset. When you saw something you wanted to listen to, you pushed the numbers. What was he experiencing? He looks like he just had an orgasm or something. Later, but... but there was a lot of old architecture, everything from Athens and all the Greek mythology, all the way to the Persian uh, part of it. The formidable Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang Province, Northwest China, 
Bernie took this photograph while touring the area in 2000. There she saw the Bezklik or Thousand Buddha Caves. The grottos are hewn from the solid rock of cliff faces. The interiors are decorated with frescoes depicting Buddhist themes. This particular cave is not in China. It's in a museum in suburban Berlin. We took the subway to get there. Arrived just as they opened. I wanted to see what was there, you know. This is from the caves where I was, and I saw pictures of this stuff, but I didn't see the real thing, and here it is. And it was the first one you see right away. These three guys standing together, and they look like they have like robes of some kind on. There are three like princesses, it says. And this is a, a Uyghur princess. A Uyghur is the people that originally inhabited all that area in western China. Every time you get like within five feet of this thing, there's an alarm that rings. This is a Uyghur donor. They have a lot of pictures of donors. You can't even talk loud around them. The museum houses many excellent examples of Buddhist art from all over Asia. Very nifty. It looks like it just got done yesterday. It's from the second century. Right. It's a good shape. Oh, there's the baby. Birth of the Bodhisattva. While strolling among the exhibits, I came across a pair of Buddha heads from Buro Budur. I was fortunate to visit the 8th century monastery in 1993. The structure is largely intact, but yes, a number of the heads were missing. Gone, but not forgotten. The heads are on display here in Berlin for all to see. And I took his picture with one, one head. We couldn't get the picture with two heads. And then we had a good time, of course, coming home. We got back without too much difficulty, and I had to buy a muffin to get change for the uh, how to get a ticket machine. came to the Alexanderplatz station. Einstein, Love and peace and happiness and clean teeth.